Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Valeria Sultan. Today we're going to talk about your smile. Why is it important to maintain a healthy smile? Because with your smile, you reach the world. You're happy, you show other people that you're happy, you show acceptance. It's the first impression you give to someone. It's your smile or your mouth is where food comes in, where you taste food. So you do everything with your smile. So it's very important that you maintain a very healthy smile. That includes the teeth, the gums, your tongue, all the tissue surrounding your teeth, which is the cheeks, everything, including your lips. So we're going to talk a little bit about how many times, for example, this question a lot of people ask me, how many times should I brush my teeth? Well, what I recommend is once you wake up, those that have breakfast, I would say after breakfast, because you want to eliminate all the food that gets stuck, bacteria and you want to have, you want to start the day with a clean mouth. So I recommend always after the meals. So usually people have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So I would say at least three times a day. So after breakfast, after your lunch, and after your dinner time, so that when you go to bed, you go to bed with a clean mouth. Never, never go to bed without brushing your teeth. And this goes to first time moms or beaded moms. The babies, after they have the milk, once they have teeth, you have to brush their teeth. Even if they have one tooth, you have to brush it. Because whoever goes to bed without brushing the bacteria are going to start attacking all the food that's still around the teeth and that's when the cavities start forming. So very, very important. I would say at least three times a day. Those people that could not brush three times a day because they're either at school or at work and they don't have access to brushing, let's say at lunchtime, um, okay. What can you do? Um, I thought about this many times. We need to improve the amount of saliva to neutralize the acids. So if you really feel like you need to brush and you can't, uh, you don't have access to the toothbrush to a bathroom or anything that will brush the teeth, then I would say grab a sugar-free chewing gum and chew it for at least five minutes because that will increase the saliva production and that would help neutralize the acid bacteria that's in the mouth that would create cavities. Okay, so what about flossing? So I ask my patients, how many times a day do you floss or do you really floss after sometimes checking very inflamed gums or gums that bleed. It's like, oh, maybe once a week. Why once a week? Why do you floss once a week? Oh, because I feel like it. No, you have to floss at least, at least once a day, once a day, because the floss will help remove any bacteria, food debris that's stuck around the teeth where the brush doesn't get. The brush really doesn't get all around the tooth, a 360 of the tooth, and that's where the floss comes. So we floss not just to remove food that gets stuck in between two teeth. You know those people that, for example, eat a steak and they say, oh, I floss because I ate steak. Oh, that's another one that my patients tell me. Whenever I eat steak, I floss. 
No. Sometimes I even ask, do you eat steak every day? Because I need you to floss at least once a day. So the floss, going back to the floss, the floss, you put it in and it brings the food or anything that's stuck on the tooth. So you put it in and you, you do the movement up and down, up and down to bring anything that's down upwards so that later you remove it. I personally like to brush my teeth one round, then I floss to remove anything that gets stuck. And then I do like a quick brush over again. And another thing, don't forget to brush your tongue. Your tongue is like a carpet. If you see a tongue on a microscope and you don't need a great magnification, even in your mirror, you can see, you put your tongue out and you see that it has some finger like projections. So imagine in between those food gets stuck bacteria get stuck so you don't really need any fancy brushes or for your tongue brush your tongue gently you don't have to go crazy because i don't know my if i go crazy on my tongue it, it kind of stings or i brush softly at the end and rinse and you'll feel the the freshness so very important how do we maintain the teeth? First, take care of the environment around the teeth, the gums, the tongue, everything. I have so many patients that come to me and they tell me, oh, I want a whitening, but they have gum disease. They, there's rocks of tartar stuck on the teeth. No, we need to take care of that first. First, we need to tackle that and then we whiten, we straighten, we, we do any of that. So very, very important. Um, brushing, flossing, clean your tongue, and always do a visual check of anything abnormal in your mouth. For example, my patients come every three, four or six months to my office for cleanings, depending on the schedule that they are in. Um, if there is gum disease, if they had gum disease, we ask them to come every three months and we all the time, whenever they have a cleaning, we do an oral exam and we check the tissues and everything for any abnormal growths or anything. So let's say in between those three, four, six months, you have to check your mouth too, because imagine waiting three or six months to come to see me or your dentist and something was cooking there and something that can turn to be bad. So you also have to check your mouth under the tongue, on the cheeks, check everything very very important because if you see something that doesn't go away you go straight to the dentist so that we can take a look to prevent anything from getting worse so let's go back again three times at least if you can three times a day or at least morning and evening without going to bed without brushing and the flossing and cleaning everything. And that's the road to a clean and healthy mouth. Obviously, sometimes we're going to need to do treatment for facilitating you the road to a clean mouth, but starts from home, okay? Super, super important. And the same goes to the babies that already have teeth, don't let them go to bed with a bottle without brushing the teeth or cleaning them or wiping them with a little gauze. Very important because that's how cavities arise. So that you know, once the first tooth comes out on a baby, that's when the bacteria start populating the mouth. When there's no teeth, 
the bacteria really not present there. So very, very important. Maintain a good oral hygiene. So we're going to continue with our videos showing the methods of brushing and flossing, but I wanted to plant the idea of starting to maintain a good oral hygiene so we can have a road to a perfect smile. Thank you so much for watching and we will continue our videos. Thank you so much.